Hi guys, welcome to the Jenny Show. This is Jenny, and I thought I would do a uh, on Saturdays we vape. S W V. And I'm gonna do this for a few Saturdays. I'm setting up my little tank here with my uh, mod. I use a um, Inakin MVP Pro uh, 60 watts. Okay. And today's juice of the day. While I'm makeupless for this challenge, well, it's not really a challenge; it's a series. All right. So, um, the juice that I'm using today is Lost Art Liquids, which a lot of you are um, familiar with. A lot of you vapors out there are familiar with, and the flavor is Cottontail Cream. <sighs> Let me tell you, I am running. I think I just run. Oh, it's a little bit in there, but um, it was so good. They sell it in 15. Uh, milligrams so I ran out pretty quickly and I got it like yesterday um, so I should already tell you something but let's take a little vape and see the AC is on so all my clouds are going that way but um I would describe this juice as um, it says it's a strawberry and cream, but I feel like it's a strawberry. It tastes like strawberry yogurt to me. It's like a yogurty kind of cream. Okay, and I like to compare it to, um, it's not the same, but I like to compare it to um, Milkman, the one in the white bottle. It reminds me of Milkman a lot, except Milkman is creamier and more um, tasting like Pop-Tart. Okay, so while we vape and um, and sort of hang out this Saturday, I um, want to talk about something that I saw on, I believe it was YouTube, a video about people having children without being ready. So the conversation was like so. So it was um, some girls speaking about um the fact that everybody in the group had some kind of issue with their dad when they were growing up one uh, had a divorce and a separation and the dad continued his education went to college but sort of spent all of his time on that and didn't participate in the child's childhood at all and now that the girl is older she's in her 20s the dad wants to come back into her life and she's kind of like reluctant um, and then there was another girl who, whose dad just completely wasn't there from the very beginning. So he left mom while she was pregnant. And now, um, that he has children with his new wife and whatever, whatever, again, another girl in her twenties, late twenties or whatever. Now he wants to come back into her life. And she's like, absolutely not. Um, there was another girl whose dad was around but he sort of was around for like weekends and fun stuff but wasn't really around for um life and she was saying how the dad is still like that now he comes around for christmas or whatever but that she doesn't feel that close to her dad and dad gets upset when she sort of doesn't bother to call so much um or whatever so my perspective on it <clears throat> on this vaping Saturday. It's just very complicated for children who grew up, grew up without a dad or who had a dad who wasn't really involved. And I think it's a cop out when people say, well, some people, and this is what was said in the video, one of the girls was like, you know what? Well, I understand them. I guess, you know, some people have children and they're not ready for it. And that's why all of these issues happen. I think that may be the case. Like some people, that is their excuse or their reasoning for not being around and then regretting it when they're older. Of course, you can right wrongs when you're older. I feel like um, that's completely fair to want to right a wrong. And if you are the kind of person who is in the right mind or the right mindset and you are forgiving and you say, okay, let's just um, start now. But I think I also wouldn't fault a person that says, well, now it's really too late. So, I mean, we can have the same thing we had before, just not anything deeper because you weren't there. Um, aside from that, I also 
want to talk about mom because all of these things are just so very unfair and I feel like um, it also ties into the whole reproductive blah, 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 blah. reproductive rights for women um, I feel like it's very easy to say well I'm not ready for kids and run out of the child's life as a father but as a mother that's very complicated um, to put a child up for adoption or whatever it's not just society on top of you saying oh my god that is so heart-wrenching and horrible your mother and you're gonna give up your child um, it's also harder too because of course you be, you create that bond carrying a person nine months but I feel like it's a cop-out let's not run around in circles with this issue it's a cop-out to say well I wasn't ready I personally feel and this is my own um, opinion again not judging anybody but my personal opinion is that one if you were ready to make a child and this is why you should always be mindful of your decisions to do something if you were ready to make a child guess what you should be ready to handle the consequence of that consequence of any action right um, or at least assume the responsibility that is the part that's so important there are moms out there who are teenagers who have their kid and I can say 100% teenage moms aren't ready to have children but they become ready and they make it their job or their life to be ready and to be responsible are you gonna make mistakes of course you're gonna make mistakes that's what life is all about and I think that even people that are ready to have kids find that they're not really ready because human beings are so random and different and unique that you're never 100% ready for anything so you know it really isn't a matter of being ready it's a matter of assuming responsibility <clears throat> and I mean I want people to talk to me um, on this video or whatever about the topic because I really feel that is the basis of everything and I feel like if people were to change their mindset or their attitude about life and not just about children about anything about responsibility because it's something that I can literally say at work I got this job and this is not what I expected I wasn't ready for it I quit my job I will go throughout my life quitting things because I wasn't ready for them and really if you think of anything relationships friendships you can use that you can say I wasn't ready for this and you can literally be not ready for everything but you're not gonna go ahead and quit your dreams quit school quit your job quit life hopefully you won't quit life um, that's something that a lot of people do feel is their last option and it's the reason why we have to support each other um, it's not a matter of being ready and I feel like life even you know you didn't ask for this life but you do have the option of taking responsibility for it and making it the best um, that you can possibly make it and I feel like even if you are a terrible father and maybe you don't set the right examples at least you were there and being there um, makes the world of a difference I can personally tell you without going too much into my own story I feel like I did have a childhood with a dad that wasn't ready and made hundred thousand mistakes but the fact that this person was there did give me a lot um, that I wouldn't have had if they weren't and um, it's something that even though so many mistakes were made I am NOT resentful in the way that I would be if this person decided to quit on me from the beginning so I want to hear um, your opinions on that it's something that you know a lot of people go through and the reason I focus on that is because moms do have that issue also but I feel like it's more widespread with dads it's a lot of daddy issues that people have and um, 
it is an important relationship to have and that's why we focus on it so much um it's not to attack men or to attack dads high five to all the dads that were there and to all the dads that fulfill both roles when mom walks out because either or it's two different relationships but they're two essential relationships to a person um and i think that people sort of downplay it a lot um and say well you know i'm mom and dad no you're mom and mom and you know that was needed and that person failed in the same way a dad that's dad and mom you're dad and dad that's it and that other person failed that is it for my uh, vaping saturday if you want to go ahead and get um lost arts cottontail you should it's definitely a wonderful blend of strawberry and cream and you could really feel it's a very good stra like a natural tasting strawberry not an artificial one a natural strawberry taste um with a really yogurt kind of cream so it's not a very sweet cream it's like a sort of like a tart kind of cream it's awesome it's smooth and i did run through a 15 mil um in about a day and a half so that's that um, for all of you that would like to purchase a vape or want to know more about vape or vaping leave me a comment and I'll make a new video on it I do want to bring attention to the vaping community because it is something very important for people who are trying to quit smoking or um, hookah smoking all right I will see you guys at the next Saturdays we vape video